Hi everyone, today I'd like to share my Apple interview experience. I looked on YouTube and there were some that were recorded three or four years ago. So I wanted to share a current experience for those of you that have an interview with them or want to apply at Apple and just would like to know what to expect. Um, I applied online and it took about two months and I received a uh, email from Apple inviting me to a uh, interviewing event in Long Beach. And this is my experience. Um, I showed up about an hour before um, just to give myself enough time, make sure I didn't hit traffic. Uh, because I got there so early, I was able to find plenty of parking. In the email that I received from Apple, it did state the dress code was business casual, which I thought was great. That way you don't show up in jeans and a t-shirt like you see the reps there. Um, however, as I was walking towards the salon, I could see that many uh, of the men were in suits. Um, in my group, it looked like uh, there was going to be about 60 people. And out of those, maybe there were six or seven women tops. Um, and they were more casual than the men. Um, but that's the way they went. And um, I decided to go with khaki pants, a black polo, and a casual jacket. Um, as you walk up to the salon, of course, they don't let you in yet. There's a couple of Apple representatives outside, and they check you in, and they give you a clipboard, and there's a one-page questionnaire that you fill out. So don't forget a pen, and you fill in your name and address, list the locations um, that you want to work at. I applied for one in particular, but they did have two others listed, um, so you needed to list them in order that you wanted to work. Um, the desired position. Uh, of course, I applied for specialist, but they also list the other positions that they have, and you can check the ones that you're interested in. And they also have a little section on what products are you familiar with. And it pretty much lists most of the Apple um, hardware and software. This is just what I remember off the top of my head, and you just check it off. So it's a very easy, straightforward questionnaire. Um, our uh, appointment uh, was at one o'clock and just a little bit after uh, they opened the salon doors and they let us in again this is a Marriott that's so a pretty big room uh, the setup was pretty identical to this with the exception of the tables were more towards the sides of the salon not at an angle with a bigger space in the middle to walk through um, and as you're walking in remember this is Apple so you had about a hundred Apple employees uh, hooting and hollering and applauding um, as we were walking in through the door. Uh, and actually, no, it wasn't a hundred. It was probably about 10 to 12 Apple uh, employees that were going to be running the interviewing event that were clapping and, you know, high-fiving as, as we walked in. So uh, we walked in, you choose a seat. And the first thing we did was introductions. The Apple people that were in the event, which were also in their blue sh or black shirts, I believe, and jeans, introduced themselves, uh, the stores and positions that they have, and they told us about themselves. Then they asked all of us to do the same thing. Um, now keep in mind, in the invite, it does say this is a two-hour event. So mine was from 1 to 3 p.m. So I think to go through all of the 60 candidates that were there, it probably took about 30 minutes of our time doing that. And I kind of realized that at the time, this is your first interview question. Um, so when you go to an interview and they ask you, well, tell me about yourself, that's what you really have to give. The only difference is you're doing it in front of, you know, 60 plus people. Um, but you have to ignore that and just really tell them something about yourself to the Apple people that are there. So once we finished the introductions, um, they showed us the career in Apple retail video, which you can see on their website. Um, this is just a screenshot of that, and you can go to their website and check it out, so I'm not going to play that now. Um, but I had already seen it, so it was kind of just it re reiterating um, how great Apple retail is. Uh, next, they also did a little Apple store video, which if you've seen the um, keynote presentations they do a couple of times a year, um, this is what that was, where it showed customers coming into their locations, getting high fives, buying the latest product. 
that what that that's what that was. And also they showed individual photos. Uh, this was one of them, and they ask you questions of, okay, well, what what do you guys see in this? What can you tell me about this? And this is also an exercise in participation. So I strongly suggest throughout the interview process that whenever you get an opportunity, you raise your hand and you participate because while you're in your session, there are probably four or five of the Apple employees in the back with notepads writing down your name, what you said, that you participated. And really, this helps you stand out from those 60 other people. Um, so once we did that, next was group interview time. So basically, based on the size of our group, we were broken down into groups of six, and we were taken to separate parts within the salon, and two Apple employees then broke off and were moderating each group. Uh, they handed us an iTouch, iPod Touch, sorry, and they explained, okay, so basically you're gonna take your iPod Touch, and you're gonna answer the question, take the iPod, hand it to the next person, they're going to rotate the screen and get the next question and so on. And we did that. And these questions that were on there weren't technical. They were your interview questions. They are, tell me about a time when you had um, lots of things to do and you were short on time. Uh, tell me about a time when you had an irate customer. What did you do? Um, so those are the type of typical interview questions. But this time you were answering them to the Apple moderator but in front of your other candidates around you. Um, once they did that, um, the Apple moderator said, okay, great, now we're going to ask you some technical questions. And the technical question that we received first was, okay, a customer comes in and their iPhone doesn't work, what would you do? And it was thrown out there for the entire group to answer, so it wasn't a question that was rotated around. So again, this was really your chance to raise your hand, participate, show that you're a people person, and that you're comfortable talking to people. Um, and this is actually pretty neat because you imagine you're in an Apple environment, their stores are packed, and you have lots of people, customers all around you, and there's noise. So I guess this kind of puts you in a stressful situation and see how you handle that. So once we went through two rounds of technical questions, um, oh, and the second one was about iOS 7. What are the name three accessibility features in iOS 7. So once we did that, she said, okay, looks like we have time. Let's do one more round of interview questions. And so we, we broke out the iPod again, and we did the uh, interview questions, and then she thanked us. Um, the other cool thing is the moderator was also taking notes, just like someone would in a regular interview, as we rotated the iPod. So once we were finished there, we went back to our seats, and they started the closing of the interview process. So here was uh, our opportunity to ask questions like, you know, what do you like about Apple? How long have you been with Apple? What's the career path? Uh, things like that. So once all the questions were taken care of, and she kind of limited it to five or six, um, she let us know that, okay, um, thank you for coming. Uh, those of you that would like to proceed with the next process will get a call within 24 to 48 hours. And um, they were very nice to say, you know, we thank you for applying, but please keep in mind that, you know, we're such a, a popular company to receive candidates that unfortunately we can't get back to everyone. And for those people that were there that maybe were looking f to get into management, uh, because this was not one of those sessions to look for managers, their advice was just to keep uh, applying. Uh, she also mentioned for those that uh, maybe didn't get hired. She said, look, don't get discouraged. You know, it's not something against you. Um, we have some people that apply many times and eventually get hired. So we encourage you to do that as well again. Um, the resume that we brought, uh, which we were told to bring, we were just asked to leave that on the table along with a questionnaire and just leave. So uh, we did that as well. Um, in my particular case, I made it to the second round. So I received a call actually the same day, probably about three hours later, to schedule an interview for the very next day at the location uh, where I would possibly be hired. And so pretty much um, an abbreviated version of the larger interview session. So um, there were six of us. 
Uh, it was going to be a group interview with a store leader, otherwise known as a store manager. So he took us to the food court, uh, we sat around, and he started off with, okay, tell me about yourself. And so we had to do that in front of everyone, in front of each other. Um, and I noticed there was one or two that were a little stumped. They were like, oh, okay. So again, be prepared. This is the tell me about yourself question. And then he asked us typical interview questions. And I, I remember it was three of them. Um, and we didn't have to go in order or we, of the way that we were sitting, but that's kind of how we went, at least for the first one. And then at the end was the question and answer session with the store leader. Uh, the entire session with the store manager took about 20 minutes, 25 minutes tops for six people. Um, and that was it. So that's as far as I got. Um, I received an email uh, maybe three or four hours later in the day thanking me for applying. So um, as far as I'm concerned, I am done applying at Apple. Um, I like the products. There's stores I avoid going to because they're so busy. Um, I order stuff online or if I really want to have it, um, maybe I'll look at a Best Buy since I'm the type of person that already knows what I want to get. Uh, so I'll just you know do an in-store pickup from Best Buy and if they don't have it then I'll absolutely do an in-store pickup from Apple. But my experience with in-store pickups there haven't been the best. But in any case guys, uh, for those of you watching this, I hope it was helpful. Um, I hope it prepares you for, uh, or to give you a better idea of what to expect. Someone else, actually, that was interviewing with me mentioned that they applied for a movie theater. I believe it was Arclight in Hollywood here in California, and that they also do group interviews like this. But what they do is the people that they cut, they actually take them out of the room and let them know. So they kind of do the whole process in one day. So it, it's a little bit more intense, a little bit more brutal, I guess. So if you have any questions, if there's anything that you'd like to know about my interview experience, please leave it in the comments. I'll check them and I'll re respond. Uh, otherwise, again, I hope you found it very helpful.